you know, I think anytime you could play next to a senior like you know Kevin Maurice or you know or uh, you know uh, you know have a, a, a Zuris or one of those older guys in there with you, it really helps. It gives you a little bit of rest assurance what the call is and that kind of thing. So, you know, I you know, I, you know, I think it's always best when you play with an older player. But you know, they do fine when they're together. Yeah. Biggest thing to them is just uh, you know in, in the group, we just continue to build depth and, and, uh, and for them to be consistent. Yeah, Alex Davis is a guy who looked like mm-hmm. a, had a pretty good day on Saturday. Mm-hmm. What are you expecting from him this year? You know what, just to help us. You know, may it be uh, you know, third down or, or uh, you know, to hone his skills and be able to play, you know, being on first down. You know, he's that kind of kid. And, and uh, you know, he's out there, you know, he's staying after practice today by himself, working with a couple of, you know, the D linemen and, and uh, trying to hone their skills so we can be more consistent on a daily basis. Hey, with the tempo that Fresno's mm-hmm. going to throw at you next mm-hmm. week, how challenging is it to get a bunch of young guys ready? I mean, it's the first game and this team's going to snap the ball every 10, 15 seconds. You know, I. You know, doing the two-minute drill every day in practice has helped us a ton, and you know, Coach Banker's been through this a million times. So it's, it's, uh, you know, we'll be well prepared, you know, for Saturday night, and, and uh, just got to go out and be consistent every play. Is there a certain uh, player on the defense that you like on certain packages? Or are you going to stick to more of a rotation throughout the game? Uh, you know what? We're, uh, you know, that's, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll, we'll see how that goes during the week. Yeah. Nothing's in stone yet. So. Having the referees in practice, mm-hmm. uh, they didn't really use them a lot last year, but having those guys here to man that two-minute drill and do these things, how, how helpful yeah. is it? Oh, it's with- great. You know, it's great. I mean, it, in terms of just, you know, making the field like yeah, game tempo, you know, where you got, you know, officials in there telling you if you're on sides or you're lined up incorrectly, wherever it may be, spotting the ball, I think it, it's helped us a ton. And, you know, and, and, uh, you know, it's for the staff that's been there and done that with Coach Ryan. We're about a week and a half away. I mean, yeah. how, how geared up are you? I mean, do you go to bed at night just thinking about that first Saturday back for you as a coach in Nebraska? You know, I'm excited. I'm excited to see, uh, you know, to see the team, to see, uh, you know, the front. And, and uh, But you know what? You know, for us, it, it still feels like it's a long ways away. And, and uh, you know, we're just focused on tomorrow, we'll coming back out here tomorrow, and, and, uh, and, we'll, and get, cons- they, you know, consistent and what, get every play. What's the ticket request le- list like been for John Perella and the family for week game one? <laughs> you know, <laughs> a lot of friends coming back. And- yeah, you know what, a lot of friends and family coming, but you know what, they're not coming to see me. You know, they're coming to see the team, and, and that's what we try to tell the kids. No one's coming to see us coaches. They're coming to watch them play. Yeah, I think there might be you know, one person in the crowd watching me. That's my wife. So, <laughs> that's it. Right, thanks a lot. Coach. Yeah. Thanks. Yep.